on Money FM 89.3. Good afternoon and welcome. Now, Grand Corp Thorn Waterfront celebrates its 20th anniversary this year. It's one of Singapore's most luxurious hotels. I can't say that right because I'm hungry. <laughs> Offerings its guests both convenience in location at the heart of the central business district and choice in dining options within its own premises. Money FM 89.3 welcomes Gilbert Ong, Director of Marketing and Communications, Grand Corp Thorn Waterfront Hotel and Ivan Tay, founder of Running Man to talk about the hotel's achievements these past 20 years and the Influencer Takeover, a unique program which is part of the hotel's 20th anniversary celebrations and to share insights into how social media plays a major role in modern decision-making. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Gilbert, you know, say I'm, I'm so hungry, I'm stumbling over my words, so thank you for the food. <laughs> thank you for having us. Thank you. Glad to be here. Okay, first and foremost, we go to Gilbert. Tell us what we need to know about the Influencer Takeover Program. Well, it's very simple. Um, we get five um, Singapore-based influencers, mm -hmm. and they will take over the hotel's social media platforms, such as the Facebook and Instagram. Right. Then they will have total free hand to post their experiences while staying at the hotel. Okay. And when you say total free hand, they can say yes. anything. They can even be disparaging. Yes. And you're confident that they won't because... Um, I mean, there's a certain level of, level of trust. Um, we select them because they are trustworthy, they are mm -hmm. honest, right. and they write something. They write things that are true. Right. That is why they were chosen for this task. So you chose them, and, and you know that they will tell the truth, and you're not afraid of them taking over your social media. That's right. Can I, from that, um, gather that mm. you stand by your product and you're proud of it, so you're not afraid of anything they could say? Yes, yes. I mean... Um, at our hotel, we don't we don't see feedback as a complaint mm -hmm. because feedback is good for us so that we can improve ourselves. That is how we stay afloat for 20 years right. and we hope for 20 years more. Okay. We bring Ivan Tay, founder of Running Man, into the conversation. Now, you are an, a takeover influencer. That's right. That's correct. Have you done your, your takeover yet? Not yet. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, yeah. Okay. But mm -hmm. you've been to the hotel before? Uh, yes, definitely. So uh, what are your uh, impressions of the hotel right now before this? Well, I've actually been a paying customer at the hotel right. um, several times, but not as, uh, uh, not as a guest. Mm -hmm. um, I think um, to the restaurants uh, at the hotel. Sure. Um, so far, I think my impressions of the hotel have been uh, very good. Uh, the food quality uh, there has always been you know, uh, uh, quite, quite good. Speaking of the food, I have a question for Gilbert. My favorite yeah. food mm -hmm. um, at the hotel was, was always that, that seafood ho fan. Okay. Thing is it still on the menu? It can always be on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I come to the hotel, you know, because I love it that much. It really, really is my favorite food at the hotel. Thank you. So, what was the motivation, Gilbert, behind developing this program? Um, I mean, we really want um, people to know more about our hotel, mm -hmm. and. Um, Social media is very important in in, in today's today's world because yeah. a third party endorsement is is far more credible than um, me blowing my own trumpet. Right. Let's say I um, I have the opportunity to get you to be our influencer takeover. Mm -hmm. I mean, people, everybody's going to believe you. <laughs> Nobody's going to believe me when I say because oh, I'll wow. be honest. Yes, and that's what we really want in this program. Okay, so you picked local influencers yes. for this program. Are you looking at broadening your reach for staycations yes yes um but the reason why we picked local ones is because um we want to try we want to try um, local influencers first mm -hmm. when we sent our press releases out there were actually quite a few um, media companies and quite a few bloggers who wrote back and said that i want to be part of this program Okay. So we might be looking into expanding this, this campaign. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? That yes. in itself is feedback. Yes. Okay. We go back to Ivan Tay, founder of Running Man. Yes. What do you think makes um, a good hotel stay? What will you be looking for? Well, I think a couple of things. Uh, the ambience of the hotel. Mm -hmm. um, a comfortable room, definitely. 
Um, the room has to be comfortable, uh, clean, um, hygienic. Um, the facilities in the hotel as well, you know, how do you keep guests engaged? Um, so these are the things I'm looking out for, of course, uh, food quality, um, mm-hmm. I've already mentioned earlier. Um, so I think the whole package, the experience, how they make you feel, you know, do they make you feel welcome? Um, you know, are they attentive to your needs? Um, so I think these are some of the things I look out for uh, when I travel and when I stay in hotels. Okay. We are speaking to Gilbert Ong, Director of Marketing and Communications, Grand Corp Thorn Waterfront Hotel, and Ivan Tay, founder of Running Men. And we're talking about, well, actually, we're talking about two things. We're talking about your 20th anniversary and this influencer takeover program that you've initiated and the importance social media plays in decision making today. I mean, let's face it, a lot of us will go onto an online platform to book our hotel stay wherever in the world. You know, a lot of us use the internet Mm -hmm. and online portals to book our flights, our connectors, our all kinds of things, right? So a lot of the time we make these choices sight unseen. We'll, we'll take your word for it. We'll take users' ratings of various properties. So is this why you thought the influencer takeover program would, would actually sit nicely within your social media push? Yes. Um, I mean, travelers in the past were far less diverse mm. than travelers today. The modern guest looks at how hotels differentiate themselves, how hotels today transform with times uh, in areas like innovation, social media mm. and technology. Right. And I mean social media you know has has not only really transformed how we connect with our friends and family. It it is also how we search for travel recommendations. Sure. Yeah. So yeah, is, I mean even I do it. If I'm going on a holiday and I'm looking for a hotel and it's a destination I'm not sure about. Mm-hmm. Even if it's a destination I've been to before, I'll go on social media, I'll read all the various sites and recommendations from users and what they have. To, actually, more importantly, I'll, I'll read what they don't like mm-hmm. about uh, uh, various right. properties rather than what they did like. That's right. You're not going to go to the hotel's website and believe in the pictures anymore. Right. <laughs> that is absolutely true. So we ask Ivan, what do you think you might not like about your stay, upcoming stay? <laughs> Gilbert's look at me like, what? Well, um, well, I think one tricky bit really is the service. Mm. Um, and I think that is, you, you could say, a very subjective area because sure. it's really relative to each person. Um, so that could be a potential. And, you know, I think one of the challenges uh, hotels today, the tourism industry in general, really is how do you then maintain that same consistently good service for every single one of your customers who walks through the door, you know? Mm. Um, so. If there was, there was one potential error, I would say, yeah, probably is the service and how, you know, how attentive they can be, um, how personalized they can be, whether do they make it memorable you know, for you. Mm. Yeah. Okay, we go back to Gilbert. How do you think local hospitality has changed in the last 20 years? Well, um, I think it made hospitality more, <coughs> more interesting. Um, we launched a year-long campaign, Live Like a Local. Mm, that's right. I remember you came on to talk about that. Yes, yes. And um, we also partnered um, Tour East Singapore um, to build Singapore's first premium tour lounge. And um, roping tours into hotel offerings is an innovative approach in the face of Singapore's competitive hospitality landscape. Mm-hmm. I mean, and, and technology, technological disruption, which is threatening the viability of the traditional hospitality model. So we need change. You need change. 20 years ago, were there as many hotels? I mean, 20 years ago, definitely, there were not as many hotels right. as there were today. Um, the experience guests want now doesn't start... Uh, it starts from where you search on the internet mm. and find uh, information, pictures and all that. Whereas from the yesteryears, you were just given maybe a brochure and you get... You, you take very, your travel agent's <laughs> word for it, didn't yes. you, 20 years ago? Yes, and the experience starts when you arrive at the hotel. Right. But now the experience starts when you start to book. Right. When I go to your website, how long does it take to load? Right. How long do you uh, take to reply my email? Mm. You know, those, those kind of things. So it, it has changed because there is, there's, less time, there's less of a turnaround. The, the right. experience starts earlier. That's right. And you have less control over how somebody forms their first impression of the property mm-hmm. than you mm-hmm. used to. That's right. Right? Because yes. of social media. Yes. 
I would say so. So that's a challenge. These are things that you're doing to overcome them. Anything else that you're doing that you can share with us? <laughs> I think... I um, mean, yeah, I'm always going to push it. You know ah. that, right? <laughs> I think... I think... Um, I mean, we just have to be active in, mm. in, in our replies, in our responses. Because yeah. if if I'm a guest, when I, when I email somebody, I would expect the, kind of, the same kind of response as well. Right. So I think um, to be more hospitable, to be true, to be sincere, I think that's, that's good enough. Okay. We are speaking to Gilbert Ong, Director of Marketing and Communications, Grand Corpthorn Waterfront Hotel. And Ivan Tay, founder of Running Man. Now, Gilbert, the last time I spoke to you, you were talking about um, Live Like a Local. Yes, that's right. And we were also talking about the start of um, the refreshing of the hotel, mm -hmm. right? What has been done has so been far done? since we talked? Okay. When we talked, you were going to be going into the lobby to refresh the lobby. Has mm -hmm. that been completed? Yes, yes. So what is different about the lobby now? Well, it's definitely very fresh now. <laughs> um, it has a um, robot mm -hmm. that delivers um, towels and um, drinks to your room. We have a egg making robot that cooks your eggs uh, at, at uh, our all day dining. Right, as well. right. Yeah, and uh, our rooms are pretty nice. But I'll keep that as a secret for now. Yeah, rooms are pretty nice, and we'll have to take <laughs> Ivan's word for it when he checks in. When are you going to be doing your uh, influencer takeover stay? Well, sometime in July or August. Okay. See, I don't know when he's coming. You don't know when he's I coming. I think there's a lot of trust in that regard, right? Um, I'm <laughs> yeah. supposed to book the, the entire thing on my own uh, yes. without informing them in advance. Okay. Um, and then go there and really experience it firsthand like a guest. So for, for the uninitiated and, and for some of us, even for myself, I'm not entirely sure what is a social media influencer and how you go about doing it. So what is, can you explain social media influencer to me? Okay, well, um, firstly, I think social media influencer, and there are a lot of aspects to it. Um, you know, you could have your bloggers, you could have your YouTubers, you could have your you know, Instagrammers and so on. Mm -hmm. But generally, I think an uh, influencer would be someone who, well, as the term describes, uh, has some level of influence mm -hmm. um, with a certain number of uh, audience. Um, and I think one of the key things for an influencer is really um, responsibility and the sort of responsibility you have to be true to your audience mm -hmm. um, and to first actually believe in the thing that you are promoting, um, you know, for that to be resonant uh, with your audience. So the audience follows you because they like your way of thinking. They like how you present things to them mm -hmm. um, or perhaps maybe they have similar tastes uh, that you do. Um, so being true to that, being true to yourself, uh, being true to the brand that you've created um, and uh, um, the, the circumstances that are around that um, and reporting it as truthfully and as factually as possible. Um, so I think that's really important for an influencer. Okay. I mean, uh, let's be honest here. As a radio presenter, I am something of an influencer, right? But it's an yeah. old school model. Um, my show is created for me. The station I work for is already there. Yeah. There is a built-in audience. But how does a social media influencer build that audience? For me, I think mainly through content. Mm -hmm. um, I think putting out content regularly, mm -hmm. uh, putting out content um, often and it's interesting, um, that actually helps to you know build the audience, uh, basically putting yourself out there and saying, hey, you know, this is what I like, uh, this is what I didn't like. And I think that's kind of how I also came into the notice for Grand Cop Tom as well, mm -hmm. um, really putting out the content there and saying that, oh, you know, this is what I like and what I didn't. Um, and gradually, uh, you have the brands out there that kind of notice you and say, hey, you know, actually, um, this, this, this particular person um, you know, has you know has what we want, or has something that you know we think we could work together with, and you know build our brand further from there. We can and has credibility. That. That's correct. Yes. Okay. We go back to Gilbert. Um, there have been changes in the hotel, and I'm, I'm going to assume that there are going to be more changes as you mm -hmm. celebrate 20 years. One of the things that I enjoyed for a long time was the Italian restaurant. Has that changed? It's still there. <laughs> it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. We have a new, new menu. Mm -hmm. So please come by. I shall take you up on that offer. <laughs> so what is next for you and Grand Corp Thorn Waterfront? Oh, there's plenty of exciting things. 
Um, but I shall keep you in suspense for now. Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> but we launched, we launched, I mean, Millennium Hotels and Resorts, um, we just launched a stay like a mil- millionaire campaign. Mm-hmm. Where if you and anyone making a booking on our brand website, as long as they make a booking, they are eligible to enter a lucky draw to win up to one million points, which is about fifty-five nights of fifty-five room fifty-five night, room, room nights. nights. So you can stay in the hotels <laughs> for like you know that's like two months. <laughs> yes, they may never leave. They like it so much. That's we, what you're hoping, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. And what about you, Ivan? What is next for you and your blog? Well, I think um, look forward to more content coming up. Mm-hmm. Um, we have some uh, series of exciting events that are coming up in Singapore over the next couple of months right. uh, that will go up soon. Um, I'll be doing some coverage, in fact, on Jewel and some of the restaurants in Jewel because, uh, you know, it's new places. It's the new thing everyone's new talking thing, yeah, about. That's correct, yeah. Um, so you're following the trend as well. Uh, mm-hmm. I think it's one of those things that uh, influencers would do. Um, and of course, uh, we'll be doing uh, some overseas uh, trips as well. So I think uh, to Japan and to New Zealand later this year. So that content will be up as well. All right. Thank you both, gentlemen. Gilbert Ong, Director of Marketing Communications, Grand Corp Thorn Waterfront Hotel, and Ivan Tay, founder of Running Man, who is a blogger and an influencer, for coming in and talking to us and giving us an, a better insight into how social media works for a commercial entity like the Grand Corp Thorn Waterfront Hotel. You, you're on Money FM 89.3. Money FM 89.3 pays tribute to iconic music. 